Welcome back to Metal Rules. I'm Donnie Schickle, lead vocalist of Dead on Arrival and Ode to Orpheus. And this is... I'm Rick Ferrucci, the founding member and drummer of the band Ode to Orpheus and Dead on Arrival. Gary Capuccio, uh, guitarist, keyboardist. Resident Swahilian. <laughs> <laughs> Marvelous Matt Givens. Jeff Rappaport. So in the news, Persuader have an album coming out called The Fiction Maze. That's, that's intriguing. <laughs> so it's not really a maze? I know, it's, it's really just straight ahead. Yeah. <laughs> also, if you, you would think, due to their name, like if you didn't like them, they would be, you know, be able to change their mind better. Mm -hmm. like, are you sure you don't like us? Can I, yeah. can I persuade you to try our exactly. fake maze? Exactly. I don't know. I'm calling shenanigans. So, uh, my, I'm going to go with the first quote that I have is, is um, I had it on, and I was. And I keep saying that Maria should come on the show one day. That's, that's my Definitely. wife. That she should be a guest, and and, and uh, so I had the music on in the background. She was. We have to listen to it. And I said, "What do you think of this?" And she said, "It sounds like the singer is just screaming and thinks that'll be good enough." <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just ah, and that 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 that'll work. People will like that. Interesting. Like. Maybe I heard something different because they had clean vocals on it. Yeah, it was clean vocals, but it was like he was just. Ah, okay. You know, when I say screaming, I don't necessarily like, like yelling, ah. kind of. Just yeah, like he, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. But but she was right. saying, but that it was like power metal, but it was like, like maybe Not if I just, yeah, maybe if I just sing loud, yeah, that band, like that band filter, they used to do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't the band filter, right? Didn't yeah. that guy used to like yell, like he a nice shot, that band. I don't remember. The song came in, nice shot. That's the yeah, this song. I went into this like into this like tribal instrumental. Hmm. I meant to think you know the song I'm talking about. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. It's really just I mean, in my imagination. If I say yes, you're gonna. What color are the flowers there? Yeah. Actually, I, that happened to me on my first gig ever, and I was screaming like crazy, but nobody knew that somebody reversed the polarity in the microphone or something, and it was zapping my face. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You guys, I, had, I had that happen actually. People thought I was doing it really? on purpose. Because you know? I used to, in my, my old band, not, screaming. not Circle, but uh, Ninth Hour, I used to do backing vocals, and then when you had a mic that wasn't grounded or something, I got like this close to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was crazy. Right through the hair on your face. Good. And then we said, we're in, the guy sounded like he was just, like, the guy was singing, and he's just like, he's just screaming, because he just said, this would be good enough. Yeah, he, he just... He just that'll, be that that'll be enough. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, this is metal. I can just, like, if I sing really loudly and... and I'll just devil horns while I'm doing it. People will like this. But uh, musically, they were good. I don't think they, they were any trudging any new ground or anything. Yeah, but, it was, was kind of right. thrashy, but, like, yeah. there was keyboards and maybe power metal as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Well, he collaborated with uh, Savage Circus and his first album they put out in eight years. So I don't know if they've been working on it for a long time or if they just got together in a on a whim and decided to do this, but uh, yeah, it's a compilation of two different bands. So. so they get more facts than we do. Yeah, wow. They do more research than we do. That's <laughs> said research, I, I meant just like listen to the song. We suck. But that's okay. Because <laughs> now we know stuff that we don't even know. <laughs> so, so, right. so you guys can educate us on Everything's like, a learning experience. Yeah. This is why you get different people, you get different That's why we're here tonight. Yes. It's a learning experience. Yeah. Tribal and metal is cool, you know? Yeah, well, that's why I like Ooh, like uh, Soulfly. Tribe, yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. we did we did a little bit of that tribal stuff, right, Aaron? Yeah. You know, and uh, on Dark Side, do you do Boomba? Boomba, Boomba. <laughs> you bringing the yeah. shit? Yeah. Did you bring the shit? <laughs> <laughs> it's Soulfly reference. Bring some tribal for you. Okay, bring some vocals. <laughs> I might work under the rap he did earlier. Yeah, hit, just try that with the rap. I play the same. Oh shit, I know it sounds stupid, but I just can't quit. I like her rhyme, and it ain't no crime. I know I must be good because I'm getting the airtime. I bust out the beats and I bop a little bit. I said, This ain't no joke. I play the same old shit. I rap so fast, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But that's okay, because I can't seem to shut my mouth. While I'm rapping, if I can't remember all the lines, I just keep going and repeat myself a dozen times. It doesn't matter if they tell me that I'm right or wrong. I'm going to steal your song. <laughs> yeah. Peace out. That's that's old, same old shit and somebody else's song. Copyright <laughs> infringement. And that's what we have on Persuade. <laughs> Donnie rocks, Donnie. Yeah. Donnie, Donnie. Fist bump. Joe Chernowski. The lead singer for Dead on Arrival and Ode to Orpheus. Don't miss a show.
And then you turn it off. Yeah, there yeah. it is. <laughs> nice.